Aha! It's arrived! It's time! Thank you, Lul, L-U-L-L, -L -L, for sponsoring this video real quick. I've been talking about having my back problems all the time. And so this company reached out to me and they sent me one of their new mattresses. This is literally a bed mattress in a box delivered to your door. And so we're gonna set it up right now, pull out this box spring cremola one that's in here and uh, see if we like it. Coming through, Jax. Coming through, buddy. Drag it back to the bedroom back here. All right, let's get this loaded up onto the bed. Let's see how easy this is to uh, set up and turn into a mattress. That's a mattress. Okay. <laughs> it is still just hard to believe that there is a full mattress scrunched up in here. Let's make the magic happen. Let's unwrap this guy. Whoop. Starting a little bit of mattress, guys. Ooh. Ooh. It's hissing. My mattress is hissing. It looks like it's vacuum packed in here. All right, let's lay this out. Cut into this and help it hiss. Careful not to cut the fabric though. Whoa, look at it expanding. Ha <laughs> ha, it's cool. Oh my gosh. It feels like a pillow top. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, wow. That is weird. Like, it really... I'm just thinking... It's, I mean, you know what? It's a weird mix between firm and soft. I want to test it out tonight and get back to you guys in the morning. Obviously. But, wow. Lowell has free shipping. A hundred night trial literally ships through the mail so you don't even have to go to a mattress store plus Lil is giving me a discount if you check the video description below and click on that link to order yours you can get $150 off a mattress by using my promo code is that gonna work you gonna flop we need to put some sheets on this sucker huh I'm gonna try it out tonight huh yeah we are cool I'll get back to you in the morning on how my first night on my Lil was well Jax man what are your thoughts how did you sleep? Your, your, your paws liked it, right? All right, it's, cool. I don't know what kind of high grade foam or what, whatever's in there, but it is really comfortable. It's very forgiving, uh, but I think I'm gonna be training my back how to be comfortable again with this bed. Um, I just like the idea that you don't go to uh, like a mattress store, a furniture store, it can literally be shipped through the mail and just dropped off at your door. And maybe that's the cool part about it that I didn't even know this technology existed to shrink a mattress to ship and then it turns into a full-size mattress. Jax is just gonna live in here all the time now and never come out to the living room. And again, if you're interested in getting one of these little mattresses, there's a link in the video description below that'll get you $150 off your shipped mattress if you're interested. Check it out. Do you like sits? You like sits? Okay, he likes sits. Thanks again, Lowell, for sponsoring this video and giving me a new mat mattress to help my back for sleep. Now, let's get back on the Cascade Loop trip and go find something fun. like that it's getting warmer and warmer 86 degrees here today time for a sleeveless shirt we are doing camping right here on the cascade loop we're really close to the highway 
That is the Cascade Loop right in front of my RV here. It's not so bad. I mean, the trucks aren't slamming on their air brakes and stuff. And off to the back of my RV, I told you, the Mathal River. Gorgeous, right? Still not quite hot enough to run the air conditioner, so I got every window open and the main fan on the main air conditioner going. You can probably see there's still evidence of the burn from several years ago. Lots of people lost their homes out here. Just outside of Twisp. I, I like that name. That sounds like a real country name, right? Twisp, Washington. T-W-I-S-P. Let's go down to the river. Oh, but first, when I was talking to the visitor center there in um, Winthrop, she told me about the four of these. I may have even camped at this spot. They all kind of look the same, actually. But this is just a free Washington Discover Pass campground. Completely empty. I'm, again, the only person here. You know, little sites with barbecue grills. It's, just, it's free. It's free, and it's beautiful, and it's quiet, and it's so much better than any RV park you could ever stay at. So we got Miranda the Murata there, along with Carmen the Electric e-bike, and there's a little trail, if you go down here, that leads us to the water, the Mathau River. But first, produced right here on the Cascade Loop, a local adult barley pot beverage, Aslan Brewing Company in Bellingham, Washington, pride of the organic Northwest, a local ale. Oh, you wouldn't like it, it's delicious. Look at this, we even have sand, like it's a real beach. <laughs> How about that? I'll bet it's really warm too. Like really, really, nope, it's not. It's warm as in cold as heck. Jeez, my legs are numb. Actually, I beg your pardon, there is somebody else here. That camp, I actually recognize that camper up there with the window open. They were here five years ago in that same spot. I don't know if that's abandoned or someone gets to live here year round. I don't know. It'd be nice. I would. I mean, if there was a Walmart nearby. Oh my gosh. I miss Walmart so bad, you guys. It's been three weeks since I've seen a grocery store. <laughs> Paying $10 for a 12 pack of soda, $5 a loaf of bread, $6 gallons of milk. I'm over it, man. Oh, I'm really over it. I could have planned better and stocked up on some of these groceries for sure. Interesting. Then just a little farther up river, closer to where my RV's at, it turns to rock. And that's why it's kind of raging around this bend right here. This is peaceful though. Like, this is free. This is free camping on the Cascade Loop. I think I'm just going to stay here for about two weeks, guys. So you don't mind just waiting two weeks for a new video. That'd be, that'd be great. <laughs> I've only been here for a couple hours. This is my first trip to the water, but if it's going to be hot all day, I'm sure I'll be making several trips down to the bank. It feels nice, you know? Look at these big pine trees on our side of the bank, too. Um, we'll head on back to the RV because I believe I will have shown you some drone shots uh, earlier to start this video, I guess. But I actually put in a second battery after the shots you saw. We have to say goodbye. But let's at least point out that, that dr I've had that drone three years now. Okay, it's a DJI Phantom 3 Standard 2.7K. So it's a very older model. I crashed it six times, had it repaired all six times, and it's still today is flying, was flying today. However, some people had noted that I had not been using the drone very much lately, and some people were complaining and saying, why don't you? And I didn't talk about any of that. Well, <laughs> the drone stopped going more than about 200 feet away from the receiver. It would just jerk and stop and return to home automatically, and it was, it, it's been really frustrating operating that drone. Well, it decided to crap out on me in the middle of the Mathau River. And I'm gonna check my surveillance on the back of the RV here because if that camera angle is wide enough, <laughs> you may see me trying, attempting to rescue my drone unsuccessfully. I'm gonna check right now.
case you couldn't tell by that video, I had to run through the rocks. I lost both my sandals as soon as I hit the water and then I was barefoot and it hurt so bad. I was trying so hard. It like almost thought that it was back to elevation and it wanted to land and then it's like, okay, well, you must be good. And then it just went straight into the water. Uh, I did not reach it from the back camera, so the one I just showed you was actually from what was saved in my phone. That's why it's kind of lower quality. So if you lose your drone or it goes underwater or something like that, um, I have it set up on mine so that it, it auto saves every file to my phone in a catch cache until the next one and then it overwrites it. So I have video to remember it forever, which is kind of sad. I watched it like six times and I'm like, I don't even know if I want to share it. <laughs> it's so depressing. Uh, I did dig it out of the water. It's, um, it's just toast, guys. It's I mean, look at look at all the battle wounds from all the six now seven times that I've crashed. I wouldn't call water a crash. Actually, I guess you kind of do have to call it a crash. Um, it, it's lasted me what more than three years now. So um, yeah, that's pretty much what I had to say about the drone and not using it so much the last six months. Been having problems with it. It likes to land wherever it wants to land. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do, and now it's D-O-A. I have no drone, so. Oh well, maybe I can uh, upgrade later. For right now, we can probably live without a drone for the last bit of the Cascade Loop here. I don't want to have sad memories of this place, though, because I like this place. The rivers work. Hey, that's the bend. <laughs> My drone landed right there on that part of the bend. <laughs> oh, man. Well, no, it's fine. Life happens. You can't be afraid can't be afraid of taking chances trying to get the good shots and everything so but then again I have every single drone that I've ended up losing when it hasn't just crashed and I can fix it every drone has finally found water so I find that a little strange that water is the ultimate like never come back and this one technically if I turned it on right now it might fly it might not record it's just not worth the hassle because I'm gonna have to go through this again I know I will so I will look, be looking to upgrade later you know the strange part about this place is it's kind of hard to capture the beauty that I find in it because it really isn't that beautiful. I mean, it's it's burnt up, but but it's river, but it's but it's more the fact that you know you come out to a place like this and you don't see anybody else enjoying it. It just kind of looks like crap. We're not using it. They're gonna shut it down and just close the gates for no reason again because it's happened so many times. But I feel right at home here. Even without any hookups or anything, I'd rather this. With that said, I've got less than a quarter tank of fresh water. Just been going through it since the last time I was uh, at a resort. So, well, we are going to have to figure something out here on, on the Cascade Loop soon. I'll start looking. But until then, I mean, I had to go back three external hard drives later. All three of them are four terabytes that kind of store some of my old videos. And I found this spot. I can confirm that I have been here before in Tilly, my very first RV on YouTube. Guess where I parked? You already know I parked in the same exact site, of course, out of, I don't know, there's, I count 16 total sites here. I don't know, it just seems funny that I wasn't even thinking anything. I just picked the best spot that I liked and it happens to be the same one I liked five years ago. <laughs> So, I can't search a map, I can't look on Thousand Trails. Uh, I need to get to Civilization tomorrow morning to kind of search and see where this place, see where this goes and see what we can do next. But in the meantime, I'm gonna stay here a night, one night at least, heck yeah. from the Mathau River. It rained this morning actually, so it's a little moist outside. <laughs> it's all gonna dry away. It's gonna be a nice warm sunny day today. So had a uh, camper van friend show up last night. Friend from Spokane. 
Mary. <laughs> uh, we're going to be hanging out today uh, on the Cascade Loop. So I'm going to close this video out and uh, start on the uh, next chapter of this loop. So hope you guys have a good day. Jackson, I'll see you in a couple days. Bye, guys.